campaign to strip president's power over INEC and judiciary begins. And now to the news info. A new national coalition, Save Democracy Mega Alliance 2027, SDME 27, has launched a campaign to amend Nigerian constitution to remove the president's authority over the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and state governor powers over state independent electoral commission, SIEC. Well, ah, I hope they actually do that too because all our constitution, they really even need to amend it. They need to amend the constitution. Since 1999, we have been using this constitution that has been favoring our politicians, favoring our governors, our presidents. So they need to review it for real and know that they need to change it. They need to remove their hold on INEC, on the judiciary, on everybody. This coalition aims to prevent executive influence in the electoral and judicial system by transferring appointment powers to a new independent body. Speaking at a briefing in Abuja, the group spokesperson, Kometonia Kenny Lemoyne, announced that the coalition will formally launch across all states, culminating in a boot camp finale in Abuja. He emphasized SDME 27's focus on two main constitutional amendments, stripping the president and governors of their powers to appoint INEC, SIEC, and judiciary heads and transferring these responsibilities to a body of non-partisan, integrity vetted Nigerians. I hope, I hope that those people really have integrity and that the constitution should be changed and probably maybe it will, it will not make these people have a hold on INEC and SIEC because it is obvious that they do. Wiki does. How can you be rigging election for the president when you're not supposed to be taking side? You're supposed to be for, for the masses, for the people. Anybody that people want is who you should put in, but no, you help them to rig election. So if they can actually do that, if they can achieve that, that would be very good. Endorsed by prominent leaders and pro-democracy group nationwide, the coalition has also garnered support from Professor Pat Otomi, a well-respected political economist who described the movement as a significant milestone for Nigeria's democracy since 1999. Otomi referenced the Justice or Wise Electoral Reform Report, which similarly recommended executive appointment reform for INEC and the judiciary, noting that insulating this institution from executive influence would foster fair elections and improve governance. SDMA outlined a three-point plan, including mobilizing national consensus across political, religious, and civil society networks to create a unified demand for constitutional reform. I really hope, I really hope they do. They really need to change that constitution. It is, it is part of the problem that we also have that makes all these politicians to think that, oh, they can, they can have control over INEC. They can have control over the judiciary. So if they can get people that are really trusted, that if they give you money, you will not say, oh, okay, I'm, sw I'm swinging to this person's side. People that are not easily swayed by money, people that have integrity, they are people like that, we have people like that, that will never ever be swayed by your money. So if they can actually use them and amend the constitution, that is a, a, a step in the right order. Maybe small, small like that will be getting it right in this country. Utami referenced the Justice Oversight Electoral Reform Report, which similarly recommended executive appointment reform for INEC and the judiciary, noting that insulating this institution from executive influence would foster fair elections and improve governance. SMTA outlined a three-point plan, including mobilizing national consensus across political, religious, and civil society networks to create a unified demand for constitutional reform. The coalition aims to build momentum for a national conference to formally propose this amendment and to lobby both the national and state assemblies to strip executive influence over INEC and the judiciary. The group issued a call to action, warning that without these reforms, the 2027 election will likely see a repeat of past electoral manipulations. Yes, so, no matter what we say, no matter what we do, if we do not actually want a change to happen, if we are not ready, the same thing that happened in 2023 is definitely going to happen in 2027. 
we can say, oh, we are going to stand by our vote, we are going to do this, we are not going to vote for this person. But if this same set of people are still there, they are definitely going to rig the election again. They have done it before. They will do it again. They are going to do it again. It is going to repeat itself. SDM 27 invoked Reverend Martin Luther King Jr.'s work on the need for organized resistance, urging Nigerians to prepare for what they described as a national emergency to restore Nigeria. I'm telling you that it's, it's, it is a call for emergency. This is actually a call for a state of emergency in all the, all, all the states in, in, in Nigeria because the situation of the country is getting out of hand. This president, he should step down if he knows that he doesn't have anything to offer us in this country. And I hope that this constitution that they want to amend, the people that they have gathered to amend it, if they can do that and give it to, an, to people that have integrity to uphold it, they may be small, small who will be getting it. Fala Ami Ayade says the campaign is a welcome development and the constitution amendment should be embraced. But I know that the National Assembly will consider it. Constitute the committee to arrange for public discourse, which may last till 2027 after the general election. I'm very sure of that unless our legislator becomes born again. Born again, okay. For where? For where? It is the total eradication of all of those people in power. All of them should just pack their load and go to their house. There is nothing like born again. Nobody is born in again. This is a lie. They will not change. They can never ever change. And that is just the basic truth. Ignacio Sebere says this is the beginning of extricating Nigeria from imminent dangerous stranglehold. Once this arrangement is concluded and affirmed, Nigeria will be free from dubious politicians. May I humbly use this opportunity to encourage all well minded Nigerian citizens to please support this development. This is a very good idea. Above all else, this arrangement must be completed in good time. I don't want would want to create obstacles to, co to frustrate the time factor. Yes, so they can do that. Okuneye Uche says, would like to be part of this move. Contacts, please. Okay. Benjamin Ta says, Nigerian politicians will thwart these beautiful plans and do everything possible to ensure that it does not work because it is not in their favor. That's why sometimes if you have plans to do something, you don't say it out because they would always counter-attack it. Like when we said we wanted to protest at that time, that was why they went to arrange a lot of ammunition and everything and roll up, put, bring out all their police officers just because we say we want to protest. So I don't know how we, we can get the message across for real, so, but maybe we should do it like a day before. How do I even put it? Like maybe in the morning. That is when they should announce it and everybody should come outside to protest so they won't have time to gather all their police officers or anything. So like this one too, I hope that now that they've had the plan, they will not do everything to frustrate it because this one is not in their favor. Of course, they will definitely want to counter-attack it. My listeners, what do you think about it? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like, to share and subscribe. Thank you for